Now an Eyewitness News exclusive. You saw the desperate situation that continues to unfold in Afghanistan. And tonight we're sharing the story of a retired Army Master Sergeant from Wethersfield who's trying right now to get three Afghans to safety. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live right now with more on this exclusive story tonight. Matthew. Yeah, Mark and Aaron, we have the messages that some of these Afghans are sending to this local man, and there is no doubt they are fearing for their lives. Now, these are the men who helped our Weathersfield sergeant, and he reached out to us to see if he could help them. I was in Afghanistan from 2012 to 2013. Retired Master Sergeant Morgan Fazell served in the Army for 23 years. He was deployed to Afghanistan to help in construction projects. I had an interpreter, and there was an engineer, and uh, some construction uh, people, all who were local Afghans. Bonds were formed. I um, built some pretty strong relationships. Even when Fazell returned home to Wethersfield, those friendships remained. We interact on social media and, and sometimes talk by email. Then the Taliban takeover. <laughs> All progress made over the last 19 years wiped away in months, and Fazel says the Taliban is seeking vengeance. The Taliban, they know who was providing support to the U.S. Armed Forces, and um, they're just, it, it's almost as if they're being hunted down. That's why these unforgettable images of Afghans trying to escape the country are emerging. Fazel says the friendly Facebook messages have now turned frighteningly desperate. They are petrified. You know, they're sending me emails, they're sending me uh, Facebook messenger messages. These are two examples of the messages Fazel has received. I believe that my life is and will continue to be in danger as long as I remain in Afghanistan. To protect me and my family, I have to be extremely careful to shelter my identity for fear of retribution by the Taliban. We are hide from Taliban and they are looking for me and my family even we change our home to somewhere else. The Taliban are seeking and asking from our neighbors about us. Please help us. We are in big and dangerous trouble. I feel helpless. Fazel is doing his best to help three Afghans. He believes a special immigrant visa may be the best and only hope for them. So he wrote a letter of recommendation, and it's now part of the application to get the men out of Afghanistan. As of tonight, he says the government has only inquired about one of the three men, and he feels time is running out. The Taliban is knocking on their doors three or four times a day looking for them. Fazel looks at the calendar and sees the end of August deadline to get out of Afghanistan is fast approaching, and he recognizes not he, not even the three Afghans, are in control of their fate. He's forced to put his trust in the State Department. With the way things are playing out, I don't have confidence in, uh, in what's happening and, and just very frustrating. They were there for us, and now I feel like we are definitely not there for them. And talking with Fazel opened my eyes because for these Afghans, it's not as simple as getting to the Kabul airport and trying to get on one of the American planes. He says the Taliban has a perimeter outside of the airport, and since the men he's trying to help are being targeted, it's not going to be easy to get there. Live here at the Digital Desk, Matthew Campbell, Channel Thirteen News. All right.